Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I thought I would film today and share with you guys how I have styled some of my recent thrift store finds. And then I'm going to throw in a few other little nooks and crannies of the house that I've tweaked a bit as well. I love making videos like this. I hope you guys enjoy them as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I've made one small update in the living room to this little corner nook. I added this tall and skinny black and white vintage print which I found at a flea market earlier this spring. I think it looks great paired with the other vintage print that I have and it makes me happy so I'm going to leave it up for a while. Next we'll move into the dining room and we'll start with the hutch. I have not changed anything up on the hutch since my early spring decor so I'm going to remove one of the plates and replace it with this gorgeous platter that I just recently found. I am so in love with this pattern. I absolutely love the flowers and I think it's so cool that it actually has like a little bird as well. The platter is a little heavier than what I used before and the little plate in front is just not heavy enough to hold it in place. So I'm going to scooch in the coffee pots to kind of help brace the new platter up and I think that should do the trick. I'm going to replace this pitcher and flower arrangement with a new teapot and hydrangea arrangement instead. These are fresh clippings from my garden and I just think they are absolutely lovely. So I am trying to add them wherever I can think of. Next I'm going to replace the pitcher with this adorable cutie pie. Recent find at the thrift store which I absolutely fell in love with. I love the florals, the blue and white and the fact that it is so tiny and I think it looks absolutely fabulous along with my other red and white plates. Oh and I probably should have mentioned these salt and pepper shakers when I was working on this shelf earlier. I have a hard time passing up salt and pepper shakers especially when they're this cute. The art deco design is really fun as is the cute little tray that it sits on so I added that into the mix on the shelf and I think it looks pretty good. Next we're going to move over to the display I have on the piano bench in front of the windows. I'm going to remove the patriotic decor and put in a few items that I recently found. This adorable little toy tray. I think it's so cute. I love the colors. And then to tie in some of the transfer wear from the rest of the room, I'm going to add two um, saucers. And I think that's all that's needed to refresh this area and tide me over until I start decorating for fall. I rearranged a few things over on the corner desk as well. I only added one new item, but I just rearranged what I already had. I moved this lady figure down here. It was originally up top by the oil lamps. The bottom book is a recent find, so I added that to make a stack for the plant to sit on top of. And I kept the vintage photograph from before, and I think the whole thing looks rather nice. On my front entry table, I added a few new items as well. Both the jar and the book are new. I filled the jar with vintage thread spools and I just love the book. The colors, the pattern, I just think it is all so cool. Above the table turned out to be a happy coincidence for me. I have had this vintage frame for years and I just recently finished this paint by number painting. I was working on some decor and I put the painting down by the frame and I'm like, that looks like it might work together. So of course I had to check it out and it fit perfectly which of course I was super excited about. Moving on into the kitchen, I've recently found this freeze box. It's a vintage way to pack away and freeze your vegetables and fruit. I just thought the colors were super cool. I'd never seen anything like it, so of course I picked it up and I thought I would add it into the display I had on the counter in the kitchen that is using all red, white, and blue stuff. So it works perfectly. However, it didn't stay for very long because I had a really big urge to switch up this area of the kitchen, which I worked on and I shared in my latest project uh, video, which I can link below for you guys if you missed it. And I am really liking the simplified look in this area. This coffee pot is so cool and I just love the way this whole display looks. Then moving over to the spoon rack, which is a recent thrift makeover project, I added this cute little creamer and it's got bits of red on it, which is perfect for what I already had going on here. 
I was scrounging around in my decor storage and I came across this candle holder. I can't remember if I've even used this yet, but I thought I would take it out because I think it's going to be awesome for fall. But first, I'm going to use it kind of for my late summer looks. So I put this wreath on it that I picked up at Hobby Lobby a while back. I know they have something similar at the moment and I just kind of adjusted it so it looked good. Then I put a jar candle in the middle and then I added some flameless candles to the candlestick holders and I think it turned out so cute. I'll be using it on my dining room table for the foreseeable future and I absolutely love it at night with all the candles lit up. It's just gorgeous. This box of laundry starch cubes I thought was such a fun and unique find and I absolutely love the packaging. I love any vintage packaging but red and white vintage packaging is even better. So I have tucked it into the shelf that I have going on in my laundry room where I like to display all of my vintage laundry items that I've come across which is a very fun collection to work on. Then moving back into the kitchen, I have a few new things to share with you on the opposite side of the room. I love everything about this timer. It's nicely worn in and used. It's got a gorgeous handle and I think it just fits my decor and my kitchen perfectly. Then on the other side of the stove, I have a little display set up on top of a cutting board and I recently found this sugar container at Hobby Lobby and it is perfect for me. It's got that white and black enamel and I absolutely love it. In the corner I put together this display starting with this gorgeous basket that has a lid. When I first shared this people wondered if it would fit a loaf of bread. It's a little too short. So I decided to use it as a riser for a display. So I added a pitcher holder and then this sweet little strawberry print that I had. Then I added a plant. This one actually used to be Zoe. She loves houseplants, but she wanted to get rid of it because it was kind of dying. So I thought I would see if I could revive it and it seems to be doing well. So I thought it would look nice here. Then I added a candle from Ikea and this sweet little cow shaker. I only have one of them and I like to tuck them in whenever I can. And I think it's a nice little display. However, I didn't keep it there very long. A couple days later, I removed the candle and added this tin, which I think is so cool. And then on the other side of the display, I tucked in my vintage mixer and I think it makes a great look. Above the basket in my corner cabinet, I have placed my butterfly gold bowls that I've been finding lately. I have two of the Cinderella version and then three of the large serving bowls and I love them in there. On the counter behind my kitchen sink, I placed this adorable dog planter. I filled it with some faux greenery. I think he looks so cute. I just love him. On the opposite side of the counter, I have two scales, which I've had up for a while, and I placed a little creamer filled with some fresh cut flowers. A few days later, I decided to add this coffee pot next to the dog planter, which I think is so cool. A friend recently gave it to me. The handles are so unique. And I'm hoping that you guys can help me out. I've never seen anything like this. It comes in three parts. The lid has a tiny hole, which I am assuming helps with the airflow. Then the second part actually has two sections on it. I'm assuming this section holds the water because it has a numbered scale on the side of, of two, four, and six cups. The very bottom of this section is removable. And then you can see the little holes on the bottom, which I am assuming the water drips through down into the second part of the top section, which I'm pretty sure holds the coffee grounds. Once again, this section is measured to four and six cups as well. And then of course, finally, you've got the bottom section, which I'm assuming holds the completed coffee. So I'm wondering, does this make like cold brew coffee or do you put hot water in the top or do you just let it go through and then you heat the whole thing up on the stove? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. So if you guys have some information on it, I would love to know what you know. Regardless of how it's used, I think it is a very cool coffee pot. The handles are so cool and I think it looks great displayed on the counter. Moving to the master bedroom, I recently made over this dresser, which I shared in a separate video I can link down below. 
And I just wanted to share with you how I decorated the top. I think it turned out super cute. I did share this decor in the makeover video as well, but I wanted to add it because I love how it turned out. I used a candle holder from Hobby Lobby, a vintage candy dish, and then this gorgeous painting, which is one of my very favorite thrift store finds. On the opposite side, I added a new thrifted book, a vintage photograph, and then some fresh cut flowers from my garden. Don't you just love zinnias? They just make me so happy. And I'm so glad that they are doing well in my garden this year. Moving out into what I call the TV room. It's upstairs. I haven't shared this room very much, but I found this print quite a while ago. I'm assuming it's from Homeco. I am pretty sure my mom had this print when I was younger. I had originally planned to paint the outside frame, but for the time being, I decided to leave it as is. Then I also found this really cool light fixture. It's supposed to be hardwired. It is made of milk glass. It has the coolest, almost quilt-like design that I find very fascinating. On the back, you can see that the wires have been cut, so I needed an alternative light solution. So I found these chargeable light bulbs. It has a button on the side where you can push to turn it on, and then it has three light settings. And these work amazingly well. Quite a long time ago, I found this metal shade, which I absolutely love, at the thrift store. And I thought this would be perfect for this lamp fixture. In the background, you can see that I have myself a new sofa. I bought it for my daughter Zoe for her room, but we can't get it through her doorway. Her doorway is too small, so now I get to use it. And I just have a blanket sitting on it to keep it protected from the dogs. But regardless, I was supposed to share this a while back and I forgot to add the actual footage. So there is the sofa if you guys are wondering about it. So we're gonna use this shade and I hung both the light fixture, the shade and the print above the bed in the corner of this room. And it looks so adorable and so comfy and cozy. On the bed itself is actually a new thrifted find as well. This quilt is absolutely gorgeous. I love the scalloped edges and I love that it adds a little bit of color in a soft muted way to the room. The dogs love this bed because they can sit on it and look out the window and keep an eye on the neighborhood. And I just am loving how this little nook has been turning out lately and I I think it's probably one of my favorite places in the house right now. Eventually I will get to decorating the rest of this room, but for now, this is a great start and it is definitely a place the dogs want to hang out. Aren't they so cute? That is what I've been doing with some of the thrifted items that I've been finding lately. I feel like I've been on a really good roll lately of finding some really cool decor pieces. And I am absolutely loving how they're looking in my house. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to know what you think down in the comments. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I love doing videos like this. Other types of decorating and seasonal decorating. As well as thrift hauls and projects around the house. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button. And I hope that you guys have a fabulous day. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.